going to get started with Saida and Colin. Uh, give it up. Yep. While you're coming up here, I'll ask a question. Um, which is better, dev or ops? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in ops, so I would go with that. Okay, interesting. It'd be good if we plugged in the screen, huh? That's too controversial for me. <laughs> Give us one second. The screen is off. All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Um, hi, everyone. We're really excited to be here today. Um, today, we'll be talking about owning your DevOps journey. So we'll give you tips and tricks to help you feel confident and comfortable owning your own DevOps journey. My name is Saida Habib, and I've been in tech for about two years, and I've been an educator for about eight years. And my name is Colin. I've been in tech for over five years. And I'm excited to be here, but this being on stage with you guys is terrifying. <laughs> um, so let's get started. The agenda for today is to reflect on your DevOps journey, learn how to create goals, and build community. Yeah. So with DevOps, there's just so much to learn, right? So it's so hard to learn it all, and so it's so easy to feel an imposter syndrome. Right? Um, so today, we'll be reflecting on some of the achievements, so some external factors that can help us internalize confidence. OK, so <laughs> we're going to be reflecting on achievements. Um, and when I'm talking about achievements, I'm thinking of like shout outs, certs, um, presentations, anything that makes you happy about the role you're in. Like, why are you passionate about where you are? Um, and also reflecting on learnings. And here's an action item that you can take, right? Keep a journal every day. Think about what's your takeaway for that day, right? And then reframe that to make sure you have a fuller picture of what's happening. So for example, editing a document on Vim could be hands-on experience in customer engagement to update Helm charts using Vim Editor. So this fuller picture also just shows us three things right there. You have experience with customer engagement, uh, you know parts of Kubernetes, and you know how to navigate Vim Editor, which is not always easy. Right. Um, and then next, take all of that, take screenshots, and have a full board so you can visualize all your achievements. Um, and once you visualize it, you can just take a look at everything that you've done and everything that you can be proud of. Right. And so here's an example of um, my own board. So here I have shout outs, achievements, certs, and things that make me feel good. And every time I look at this, I'm just like, wow, I'm amazing. Check me out. <laughs> um, and this is great because not only when I look at it, I feel great, but I can also use this when I'm thinking of like promotion cycles, when I'm thinking of like new jobs that I want to um, um, get to. Um, and so I have evidence of like why I'm amazing, right? And I can talk to it. And so now that we've taken a look at um, our journey so far, let's go ahead and take a look at our future. Right? So we'll look at SMART goals to help us plan for our future. Um, but Colin, like, what is a SMART goal? What is that? Sayida, that's a great <laughs> question. So SMART goals are um, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Um, and so an example of a SMART goal is I am going to obtain my CKA by December 13th, 2022 by studying three hours a day three days a week using CodeCloud's Kubernetes course. So, Sayida, why is this an example of a SMART goal? Awesome. I'm glad you asked, Colin. <laughs> so it's specific because you're obtaining a CKA cert, measurable because you're studying three hours a day, three days a week. It's achievable because it's a planned course. It's relevant because it's Kubernetes. And it's time bound because it's on December 13th, right? And with your SMART goal, feel free to add milestones along the way to make sure that you're staying on course for your goals. Right? But sometimes that can also be hard, because you're like, well, I don't really know what my goals are. I just started, or you know, I don't know where to go. So this is a great time to go ahead and lean into your community. So when leaning into your community, um, you're, you're going to focus on getting mentors, um, using LinkedIn and Slack, and just reaching out to people for meet and greets. Um, but I would say that probably the most important thing is finding a mentor. Um, you know, when you're down and about, a, men a really good mentor can bring you back up. 
So I had an issue where I was, when I first got into DevOps, I was feeling like I was having imposter syndrome. And a mentor told me, don't be afraid to fail. So as a result, um, whether it's deploying Kubernetes or speaking at a DevOps conference, um, you have growth in your mistakes. And so, you know, the, the other thing is, you know, feel free to reach out on Discord, Reddit, be active, go to meetups, volunteer, and, um, you know, contribute to open source projects. And so, Saido, what's your takeaway? Okay. I'm glad you asked, Colin. Um, so my takeaway is own it till you hone it, instead of saying fake it till you make it, because that feels a little fake to me. Uh, but Colin, what's your takeaway? And my takeaway is fail forward. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Awesome. Thank you all. <laughs>